All right, so let me bring you guys back up to speed on what's been happening. I went drop hunting on the Grinch and uh, I got this awesome pair of black leggings, a journeyman 233 armor and a similar amount of durability. And uh, also I got a large amount of amber as well from all of those drops. Did the, did the KO a bunch of times and I got two soothing bombs and killed the alpha raptor. And I found another alpha carnor as well to my surprise. And ended up with this and this, yeah, and a bunch of items. So we've got a lot of things done. Uh, oh, I'm gonna show you these things as well, right? So we've got the preserving bin network set up, and it's been cooking up a bunch. Uh, there are six in here and six in all the other things. So altogether, we've got 18 cooked meat jerkies, which means we'll be able to just tame up the Ankylosaurus and maybe the Dodicurus also at the same time today itself. So let's just get to it. I've got to just, uh, I think haven't I crafted this up? Oh no. Oh no. So I need to get the cooking thingy, thingy get going on. So I'm going to need a bit of stone and everything. Let's change the view. It's easier to move around in this freaking base. If you can call that a base. Alright. Now that will be that solved. I need flint and a bunch of items. So... I think all of them are back here, right? In the smithy. That's where I placed them, right? So, let's grab all the resources and I'm overweight. Oh yes, there we go. Everything's done. And let's just transfer all the resources across again because I do not need to be holding on to all of these. Oh, before I forget, I should grab a bit of wood, right? Where's the wood? Okay, we've got a bunch of wood going on and a bunch of fibers as well. I'm forgetting everything. It's been some time since I crafted up any kibble. Cooked up, I should say, right? Cooked up kibble. So that's what you're going to do first of all. Dilophosaurus kibble. So I also went and hunted down dialer eggs. And it's raining, which is convenient. So we've got 11 dialer eggs right this second. Let's grab them all. And also these. I don't know, I think I grabbed, uh, yeah, 11 of them. So, 5 of those, that will be 11. There we go. I do not remember the exact ratio this is supposed to go in, but I think this is right, right? Uh, I hope so. Alright, so we've got citronas down there. It's been growing all this time. That's one of the things, oh, you are extremely heavyweight. I have it got, and you're hungry as well. Okay. Uh, the Grinch has been a bit neglected than the likes, but nothing too major. It's just, yeah, we've been, I've been really busy these days. So let's just go down here. Where's the crop plot at? Where is it at? There we go. I place it down here. Very soon we'll be able to just move bases. I've got a nice place set up, uh, a nice base location idea, in fact. So we'll be moving bases and. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Very oh, no, no, no. What the heck am I doing? Ah, uh, that was bad. I ate them jerkies. I did not want to eat them. Come on, man. That was a waste. Do you have any idea how long it took to just collect them all? It takes such a long time. A freaking long time. Right, but that's fine. Let's transfer all of them across. Light the fires. And burn myself to crisp. And before I forget, let's just transfer this. And there we go, it's cooking up and I'll go ahead and grab a bunch of more jerkies. Come on, get me on to you. Alright, so that's what was weighing me down such a lot. Alright, so let's just get the jerkies, not the jerkies, the kibble cooked up. And then I've got this awesome crossbow as well. And the crossbow will help us to knock this guy out super fast. And then we'll be laughing, just simply laughing. Okay, I think I grabbed all of them, right? And I ate a big bunch. No, you got some here. So, if I remember right, I ate. I think I should bring along two more. That's, that'll be enough, right? That'll be enough, I hope. And I've got eggs on me. I don't know. Everything's, everything's scattered. No, I don't have eggs. Why did I think I had eggs? Alright, so everything's scattered at this moment. And I've given this guy a nice old helmet with the trike bone helmet skin thingamabobby. And let's just go down there and grab the cable 
as it being as it being cooked. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, but guys, if you do enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe as well, because we've got the sub goal to cover up, and we are so close. We are trying to reach 50 subscribers by the end of two months, and we've got 40 already. So, if you go ahead and kind of just do as I say and just simply subscribe, we'll be there in no time. Yes, indeed. All right. So, let's. I'm going to go ahead and cook this all up. I'm not going to bother troubling you guys with the scenario of me just filling the water skin and dropping it back. The water jar and dropping it back. So, I'll bring you guys back in a bit then. Alright, so everybody, everything's fully and completely ready, right? Right? So, I got this saddle. This and the cable and a bit of major berries for them along with this as well so i think we are all set to go am i missing something i don't think so i got the weapon to knock them out and everything is quite ready so i'll catch you guys when i just go ahead and meet up with the ankylosaurus so that's the first guy we are going to be taming up the ankylosaurus uh yes because it's going to unlock us the ability to gain all that metal as well and afterwards we'll be focusing on the dirty curious both of them are extremely important, but first of all, let's just get on to the Ankylosaurus, right? Uh, if possible, I might just tame both of them at once, but I don't think there's going to be a possibility. But anyways, let's just hope for the best. Alright, we are close now. Okay, so another reason I decided that taming the Ankylosaurus would be better at first is because uh, the Dodicurus I actually trapped it, so there is less danger of it becoming lodged somewhere and then dying due to some absurd reason. So, because of that, the, the Dodicurus is having a little bit of less chances of getting killed or something due by the attacks of some other dino, but uh not so the ankylosaurus they are out in the open and not to mention that there is a prime spot for the all right so here we are all over again ha huh. now that was Quite unexpected for me right that second. I did not expect it would crash like that. Okay, so where's your buddy? I've got to kill him, kill her again. And make it easier for me to go ahead and just knock that guy out. Right, so die all over again. And I'll be parking my friend over here somewhere up here. And perhaps I'll chop down a few trees and the likes. Okay, so you can stay all over here. Yes, this would be a nice spot. And passive. A little bit of fall damage, that's not, not that's not an issue right now. Right, so let's chop down this tree. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's start this process then. Alright, so I want to see how much top does this crossbow deal. That was just one trank arrow. Okay, that was over 700. Okay, so this is a really good crossbow. Taming Ankylos is quite easy, so it's not necessary to keep the narration throughout the entire process, and uh, headshots also have no effect, so let's just take care of this quite slowly. Soon this guy will start to top run after all. 700 means like 7, so if I shoot 7 arrows, if I shoot 10 arrows, that's gonna be 7000, right? So all in all, this is quite good. Alright, that's the top run. Let's not get you stuck anywhere. How much top is on you right now? 5,000 sword, about 2 more arrows will do the trick. So, 
go that way. Yes, just like that. Uh, higher up, please. Okay. Maybe one more. One more might do. Just okay. There we go. Knocked out. All right. So follow me. Uh, Die wolf, where are you? Just come on, come on over here, boy. Let's get the free gift. And that was five narcotics. And not actually required, but that's fine. So, how's your stats? 440 weight, and everything is okay. And the uh, food is dropping already. Let's put this across and use that. And this. And this. And let's see what's the percentage that we are getting per feed now. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully. Okay, fantastic. So that means like you will only need three. Only three pieces. Right, so well, you've already eaten one. Let's just grab back eight. So two more and this guy will be tamed up. And then we can just jump straight ahead and go and tame up the Dodicurus as well. Okay, so all my efforts paid off for everything. That's so nice. And then very soon we'll be able to start moving bases. Maybe it's a nice, I, I've got a nice base location kind of thing in my head. And there is a bunch of Rexes that I got, that, that I like to tame up. And that 160 Spino as well, it's got me kind of intrigued. I think there are two 160 Spinos. I'll consider taming one of them. And then we can just start moving all the way to the Arctic because that's where I just got the plans to just move the base. Uh, a nice location flat and easily buildable and everything so i think that would be a perfect spot to actually build a nice base and i've got quite a nice base design on my head as well so it, i think it's gonna be so so it's gonna be great it's gonna be so great guys you just watch and wait sometimes i get ideas about bases sometimes i all i'm all blank and everything so let's just see where this go goes and by the way this blue color on the flag it makes it look a little bit like a denim, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright. So you still got no name. And no name the devil, no name the raptors. So we've got a bunch of creatures without names. So we'll need naming suggestions for all of them. Hopefully. Let's just tame this guy up first of all. We don't want this guy to vanish out on us. Or in the taming effectiveness by some kind of evil raptor or terror bird. Yeah, something like that. I hate those guys most of the times. Alright, so this is so cool and this crossbow is actually, it's one of the best things I've ever had. Yes, indeed. Three, two, one. There we go. 8k. Hey, oh my god. Now that's like that. I think that's the highest amount of health I've ever seen in any creature until this date. Alright, let's settle you up. And let's take a look at your stats. How are they? Movement speed is extremely good. And that melee damage is a monstrous thing. And I'm kind of happy to see that. So, alright. 150% movement speed looks like this So yeah, it's quite nice. I agree and that's a lot of flint and that's all our flinty problems and everything solved All right, you can stop I'm gonna put you this guy on neutral and I'm gonna continue onwards to go ahead and tame up That big old Beast of a dirty curious. It's rather fortunate that both of these guys require the same kibber which means I did not have to just cook up a different bunch of resources. So let's grab the citronels. Are you? Unfortunately, I don't have a saddle for the dirty jewels yet. I'm starting to miss out on a bit of those. Uh, what do we call them again? Metal now. So I need more metal ingots. That's why I required this guy first of all. Except that I was being a bit of a dump. And that's a big ass fish. Okay, what's... A 3.4. Alright, now that's massive. That's one of the biggest fish I think I've ever seen until to this day. Okay, I thought for a second that the Dory Curious was out, but no. You gotta be kidding me! Wait, what? 
a 290 I just stamped up a 270 and now you're showing me a 290 game game that's bad that's so freaking bad that's like next level bad okay don't tell me the next guy is a level 300 ah fortunately not but what about you over here are you a 300 okay fortunately not again thank goodness otherwise I'd have bashed my head in alright but let's just put those things aside there are no carnivores in the region which is nice except for me I'm the only carnivore in here right but I will find me and let's just begin the process of knocking this guy out let's just get the proper arrows in after all I uh, almost mixed that up I don't think I will need any Nakaris I think it was a big waste of time bringing all those Nakaris but anyways let's just take a look at the top amount that we got to do 15k top that's higher than that guy the one we tamed up earlier but that's fine it'll be easy it'll be just a piece of cake as soon as it stops moving around right now let this process begin so I was just waiting for that Passive, you big moron Okay, I did not ex I didn't know that these guys would start running and attacking anything as soon as it starts attacking a structure Now that's something I didn't know But thankfully the devil didn't end up inside the taming pen Otherwise I'd be in a lot more trouble Okay, so let's keep doing this then. It's becoming dark. That's something I don't like. It's becoming pretty darn dark right now. Let's see the percentage of top and the percentage the amount of top. Okay, almost, almost knocked out. Almost, I say. So let's pull it out the rest of the way. Right, I think a bunch more arrows will do the trick. Maybe two more might do the trick. Let's see. Let's see about that. Reload and then let's check. Okay, knocked out. Alright, that was pretty damn fast. Okay, that's good. Now all we gotta do is just break open one of these and jump inside and start feeding this guy his favorite pieces of food. Alright, so, are you hungry? Uh, not much. In goes that, and then goes this, and this. And, all that's left now is the waiting game. So, I don't know whether you guys, if everyone's been, if they, most of you have seen this from the very beginning and the likes, you would have definitely seen how we started out, right? Uh, getting our dinos killed all the time and everything but now just look at this none of our dinos are just dying or oh, mammals in this case I still haven't got the uh, un question answered not the answer question the question answered I'm still get to I'm s I still haven't received the answer for this so let's transfer this first and grab the cable out of your inventory and you can start following me on the devil. No one's yet told me whether the Dodicurus is a uh, a mammal or a dinosaur. I know it's armadillo, but no one has told me whether it's a mammal. Is it classified as a mammal or is it classified as a dinosaur? I don't know what either the Dodicurus has lived in. All I know is that in real life they were not smashing down rocks. That much I can tell. Alright, let's get back to base. Alright, so we are leaving behind our poor devils, so I think I'll have to tell my devils to stop. I don't think you have the ability to just keep up with this, right? So I'm going to grab this out of you, and I'm gonna take it with me. No, I mean, I'm gonna take it with me. I always forget that I had to drag this all the way out, right? Alright, so come back to my inventory, and you stop. And I think, yeah, the Ankylo and the Dodicurus, the two of us together are going to go on a really fast and extremely hilarious journey across the oceans. I think it would be so funny. 
Alright. That drop seems to be going down too deep into the ocean for me to catch up with that drop. So I'm not gonna bother going for that yellow drop. Instead, I think we are going to go ahead and focus on staying at the surface and going back to base. In this fashion. In this roundabout fashion. Right, so it's still keeping up with me. I think the ankylo will have a much more difficult time keeping up with the dolly curious. If the if I was riding a dolly around, it has 225% mo movement speed after all. So yeah, that's something in that as well. You following? Oh yes, you are. You're just standing behind me. Yeah, that is fine. So to everyone who's been probably been telling that. I'm being a complete moron, why don't you just go ahead and craft up a raft? Yes, I'm sure most of you would have just said that and uh, yes, I indeed went ahead and crafted up a raft. What are you saying? I've got this raft here. Oh, I've been a complete buffoon, you know guys. A perfect, best buffoon of the world. I hear I was complaining that none, all of these creatures won't be able to, the direwolf can't cre keep up with the ankylos and the ankylos can't cre keep up with the direwolf on foot when all I had to do was simply just build a raft and take all of them together. Oh, why didn't that just hit my mind? I don't know. It should have hit my mind earlier but it didn't. But anyways, it's been, uh, it has certainly hit my mind and I just crafted up the raft and placed it on the water. And here we are, back at base. It would have been so fast and I just went ahead and just grabbed this guy as well. Ugh. I've been a perfect idiot. And we had a bunch of setbacks as well on the way. Sarkos attacked and pulled my creatures out of the raft. And I had to get them all back again. And things like that. But all in all, everything's solved. And we are back at where I consider to be my temporary base. Except that I had to get everyone on top first of all. That's something that remains to be done. That's something that needs to be done. Right. And it just occurred to me that the Diawolf over here is dealing over 141 damage. Yes, indeed. Now, I also want to ask, have any of you guys ever watched the One Punch Man anime? And if so, I've been thinking of naming this Diawolf Silver Fang after Bang. So, Silver Fang, the Diawolf, that, sound, that has a nice ring to it, but... I refrain from doing that because I'm thinking of just taming up a higher level Diawolf later on. A stronger, much more mean and badder Diawolf. So that's why I still haven't named this guy that. But further afterwards, after I just tame up a proper high level Diawolf and also give it uh, imprinted bonus and all those things, after after all of that's complete, I think I'm going to go ahead and name it Silver Fang. That would be so nice. So. Uh, what now? That's a good question. I don't have any idea. First of all, I think I'm going to just grab this and go ahead and transfer that to the smithy extremely slowly, not smithy, the refining forge, and get that smelting up because we'll need some of these later onwards. And I'm going to go ahead and craft up a dodgy cure cell. I think. Alright, let's. I think this is empty. Yes, indeed. Alright, let's transfer that across. And then, uh, no, I meant to just put it out. Let's grab that. And transfer that across. And now light it. So that'll be smelting all the way while we wait for that to be smelted up. Oh, almost forgot the Dodicura saddle. What does it cost? It needs some metal ingots, I'm, I'm sure. Let's see how much. There we go. It's five pieces. That wasn't really expensive. That was kind of good then. Alright, so I'm also going to need to craft up a bunch of these. Seven only. That means I'm getting 70. And the rest of these, only one. Awesome. I think I might be missing gunpowder. I'll have to craft up a bunch of those as well later onwards. I'm not going to be using the ammo just yet. Uh, later onwards, yeah, we'll be using that later on. Let's just buckle you on, just like that, put that on, and voila, there we go. One of the fastest creatures in the land. Not actually, it's not really fast, but it's kind of okay. Let's see, 187 stone. Now that's our so stone problem solved. 
And that was 200 stone. That's awesome. And all that we've got left now is to just go ahead and tame up. I was thinking of taming up a beaver. So we've got to tame up a beaver. And that's and that will be most of the things done then. Everything's covered up, I believe then. So everything is fine and everything. We've got all the things going on. I'm going to need to craft up a bunch more items. New items need to be crafted up and everything. Oh, it just occurred to me. When these are cooking up, it consumes more fuel than when they are not cooking up. That's strange. I never knew that. Anyways, guys. Uh, it's been an extremely long day. I'm extremely tired as well after all this recording. You guys are seeing only a small portion of this. But after editing, I usually end up editing about uh, 1 hour or 1 hour 30 minutes of content into 30 minutes or 27 minutes if I say it right. So anyways then thank you all so much for joining in with today's video but that'll be it for today so if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and do me a favor hit the like button and i'll catch us with the next ones